Despicable Me 2 by Raina Tweedaway. Oh no, zero parking spaces, yelled Tim, my cousin's partner. We were at the base in Hamilton and traffic was slow. I scanned around the car park. There, I pointed to an empty car space. Tim drove off and parked the truck. Quickly run into Tiawa, my cousin Lillian told me. It was pouring down with rain and puddles formed around my feet. We squeezed through crowds of people and eventually arrived at Hoyt's movie theatre. We bought our tickets to Despicable Me 2 and bought our popcorn, skittles and drinks. Extreme screen, I read on the theatre door. My cousin Tian was getting excited. The screen was amazingly huge. It was like the size of a classroom wall. As the movie started, the sound effects were extremely loud. As I grabbed some skittles, they clattered in between my fingers. I felt so happy to be finally watching Despicable Me 2. I've always wanted to watch this, I thought. Two hours later, the movie finished and we left the theatres. The movie was amazing and I now love Minions. Rugby by Tussle. Tussle, you're on, said coach. I took my jacket off. I ran onto the field. I felt nervous. My teammate Eli took the ball out in the ruck. And this player from another team came and tried to tackle Eli. But instead, he smashed his nose. Lots of blood came out. He had to leave the field. Then we had a scrum. I told Judas to Xbox. That means to kick it. He Xboxed it down the field. I chased it. I ran as fast as I could. People were yelling and cheering. As soon as the winger touched the ball, BAM! He goes to the ground. I grabbed the ball. I almost scored, but a guy from another team came and pulled me back. Then I popped the ball up to Dion. And he dived under the post. He scored. It was almost full time. Jerus got the conversion. Then the ref blew the whistle. We won. Falling on concrete is not cool. Written by Josh Tefati. Oh gosh, I could feel myself falling, but what was I falling onto? Crash! Now I knew that I was falling onto the cold, hard concrete, and it did not feel good. My walker rolled over my hands squashing it to the concrete. God, it hurt. My knees buckled, and next thing I knew, I was flat on my back, looking at the sky. My lunchbox flew out of my hand and found a new home, even if it was just for a short time, in the rubbish bin. I knew then that I should have lifted my feet as I turned... Next time I know not to worry about putting my rubbish in the bin until I am standing in the right position and I have my walker under control.